when you receive your UKFG dipole, it will come in a couple of sections. This is the mill air dipole, but the construction and uh, building structures are the same for whichever dipole you choose. Now, when you order it, you will have the option to add a pole mount, which fits as such, or a wall mount. Now with a wall mount, you'll get these two spacers. So these can go in either the sides to mount through the center there, or alternatively, put one inside and in, into the back hole, like such. And then that one in the front, sliding the pole through and then nipping the 10 mil bolts to hold it all in place. That is after you've actually put the dipole together. Now the dipole will leg will come with a screw and we want to mount that into the housing, lining these two holes up. As we slide it in, it may be a tight fit if it is it's then the help a little wd-40 or such as washing up liquid will help with the install then refit the screw and, and just nip it to hold everything in place it doesn't have to be over tight but just nipping it will be fine you'll also find in the box some heat shrink material and what this is for is to protect the bnc connector when you've installed it now what i normally do is put it over first leaving a couple of millimeters at the end before I start to heat it up and before I fit it and what I do is start from this end warming it up and as you warm this this has a bonding agent within it so as it shrinks to fit it, it will bond to the coax and the connector as well once you've shrunk it down and when you get to about here so this has just started to shrink put it onto the antenna Lock it and turn it, there we go, and, and finish shrinking it off and, and that will give you a, a weatherproof connection.